Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. So today I'm doing general messages for you. I don't have an, an agenda to any specific topic for today's reading. I thought I would be open to any messages that the divine wants to send you across. So right here you have uh, three piles. So you can choose one of these three emojis. So emoji number one emoji number two and emoji number three okay so you can take your time uh pick the one that you want to listen to uh you are free to listen to one or more than one or all of them and see what messages uh you feel drawn to what is that that resonates with you the most and that is probably the message meant for you okay so Let's start the reading with pile number one. So pile number one, Spirit, please tell me what messages does pile number one need to hear at this moment. Uh, love, career, health, money, business, uh, general relationships. What do you need to know? Pile number one, what is the message that you have from the universe? Pile number one, your current energy shows me that uh, you are feeling stuck. Probably uh, there's no movement or you are stuck in a situation where you don't feel that you have the power to move things across or you it is in your head. OK, it's not that actually you are stuck or somebody has imprisoned you or somebody has uh you know blocked you this could be a blocked situation as well i see for some it could be a blocked communication with someone and you don't know what to do about it you're feeling stuck about the situation okay probably you don't have any control on the situation but it is not as bad as you think okay let me be honest to you by number one it this feeling is more about the feeling that you think it is okay you think that you are stuck you think that there is no control that you have on the situation but the truth is something else you can move you can move forward you can move in whichever direction you want to there is a choice that you have okay probably um, like you see in this picture probably your hands are tired or your eyes are tired okay you're blindfolded you don't know what is ahead okay and probably your hands are tired you can't do anything about it but your feet are not tired uh, tired okay you are free to move you're free to uh, walk out of this you know this surrounding of swords around you so you can move away from this uh you know situation that makes you feel stagnant that makes you feel blocked you can move away energetically in your mind what should you do what is the advice that is coming to you in this situation what should you do pile number one uh use your mind okay or the power is in your mind you need to be uh, you need to first clear out the clouds in your mind okay the king of swords is all about clearing out whatever is bluff okay clearing out all the belief systems that you have that is not uh, serving you any purpose remove all the false fears remove all the negative thought patterns that are you know clouding your mind that are not making uh that are not helping you in any way and blocking your progress uh, get rid of all these negative thoughts that you have on what may happen in future because that's not true you are making it up in your mind you're literally making it up all in your mind this is not true whatever you're thinking okay so first advice uh, that is coming up for you pile number one is to clear up your head it is it's to clear up your thought process be more practical and once you work on clearing up your head the next step is to sit and meditate sit and relax you know 
do something that eases your mind do something that relaxes you do something that gives you a lot of peace listen to some calming music listen to uh, to some guided meditation do whatever it takes to calm your mind okay because you uh, your mind is all over your place and the the root of your problem is your mind okay your mind is creating more of an issue than the issue itself i hope you get what i'm trying to say what happens if you listen to this advice group number one what happens if you listen to this advice look look what i got for you i've got the two of cups and the justice card justice is going to be there okay it's not that uh, justice is not there. You are meant to be together. This is a love situation for sure. Most of you, 90% of you who are listening to this pile, this is a love situation that is making you feel stuck and you don't know what to do because of blocked communication. Do what you have to do. Work on your energy. You have no control on the other person's energy. You have no control on what your person is thinking about you. You have no control on what the other person needs to feel about you. What you can do is work on yourself, work on your energy, calm yourself down, clear out your mental thoughts, clear out your mind, work on your energy, balance your chakras, meditate. And once you do that, you will see magic happening in your love life. Okay, what you truly, truly deserve is going to come to you no matter what. Okay, all the obstacles, all the problems are going to get solved by its own. Karma is going to work itself up and give you what you truly deserve. If you have been truthful, if you have been honest in this relationship, things are going to work in your favor. Okay, I see a reunion. Mostly this is going to be within uh, the next two months. By October, I see a reunion with your person. If you are in a no contact situation, if you're in a blocked communication, you are uh, being prepared by the universe for a reunion with a fresh new set of thoughts in your mind. So that is your reading group number one. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you related to this reading, if you like this reading, if this resonated and I will move on to group number two. So group number two, whoever chose this symbol, let's find out what is the message for you? What do you need to know? Group number two, what is the message? What do you need to know? Your love life, business, finance, money. Uh, career okay knight of swords you are having a bunch of thoughts in your mind you're not able to focus on one i see that uh, you could be dealing with some kind of argument with someone or having a lot of things to say to someone uh, you know you are anxious okay you're anxious you have been through an argument most of you i see group number two whoever have chosen this pile you've been through an argument with someone and that is bothering you that is making you feel uneasy within you're feeling a lot of anxiety you're feeling a lot of uh, these negative chain of emotions oh my god what did i do should i have said this uh should this has ha should, should is this true what is going to happen next it's all like a chain of thoughts that is bothering you now so what should you do ahead what is the truth here what is the truth what is the truth of the matter here the truth of the matter that you are about to step into a new phase of stability okay whatever is uh, bothering you is going to die down whatever is you know causing you that anxiety is going to die down and you are going to step into something new okay something new is coming up that is going to give you a new opportunity to build on your stability if this is a uh, an argument in your home, in your domestic life, I see that this is nothing to get worried about. I see things are going to be fine within the next four weeks maximum. I see things are getting settled in and you are moving forward with uh, a lot of stable energy. Okay, There was a lot of instability. There was a lot of fights and arguments and that was keeping you up at night. That was keeping you disturbed mentally. But I see that is getting solved. So there is not anything for you to worry about this. OK, just go with the flow and be ready to start afresh. OK, do not hold on to your feelings. Do not hold on to the negative um, feelings of what happened. If there was an argument, don't hold on to this argument. Don't hold on to things like uh, this person said this. They should have they should have not said this to me. Just move on, forgive and uh, 
don't carry any baggage okay that is the advice the fool is asking you to not carry baggage okay move uh, forward freely with a fresh new state of mind be prepared to start afresh create a solid ground of building this connection forward okay what else is the advice for you what else is um spirit advising you to do in this situation okay move forward emotionally okay don't be marinating in that feeling of uh uh repentance or grudges do not hold on to grudges it is what basically spirit is trying to tell you okay so there has been a fight there has been disagreements there have there has been a conflict there has been a uh, situations where someone said a uh, negative words to you someone created or you created a negative swirl in the energy by saying something that was hurtful that was harsh and you said it in the spur of the moment you didn't even mean it okay and now that is bothering you but just move on from that energy the more you marinate in that energy the more you hold on to that energy the more it is going to bother you pile number 2 frankly speaking you should just leave the situation and move away from it okay leave it alone for some time another like 3 to 4 weeks and uh, be ready to you know give it that space to uh clear it out clear that energy out and give it a fresh start okay so that is what i see for you here uh group number 2 anything else that is coming up for you anything else what can you expect success okay so whatever you're dealing with is going to get solved within the next 4 weeks and in the next 6 weeks i'm sure that you're going to see success in this uh situation whatever you're dealing with group number 2 that was your reading i hope this was helpful and if it was don't forget to hit the like button and also so consider subscribing if you are new to my channel all right so moving on let's see what does by 3 has uh, uh in store so whoever chose this symbol group number 3 what is uh coming for you what is the energy around you what is the message that you need to hear Group number three. What is your current energy? Okay, group. So group number three is all lovey dovey. They are romanticizing their life, or they're dreaming about something uh, fancy. They are feeling very creative, and you know they have very romantic thoughts about something. Probably they are. Uh, yes, they are in love. Group number three. Whoever you are, I see that you're in love. and uh this could be a choice that is scaring you and also uh giving you that feeling of you know imagining beautiful things imagining uh fancy things but also i see there is a fear in the back of your mind and your subconscious mind i see that you have a fear associated with the choice that you're about to make group number 3 what is this fear that you have your subconscious mind is injecting this fear in you group number 3 that um uh, you know there is some kind of a hidden thing you are probably not trusting this uh you are attracted to this person you are attracted to this connection you are um imagining how things would like uh how would how how things would be like when you are together but there is some kind of a fear in the back of your mind what is it regarding do you do you have any okay so you feel that this person is hiding something from you okay so group number 3 i see that you don't have a, like a 100% trust on um uh, this person okay this person could be an air sign or a gemini uh, like a gemini or a pisces okay i see a strong uh, pisces or a gemini energy So you are uh doubting the honesty of this person not exactly honesty but you feel that there is something hidden about this person's uh past okay so what is the truth about this person that you need to know what is the truth about this person group number 3 let me help you on the situation what is the truth about this person that you absolutely need to know group number 3 okay so i see that they could have some financial issues and that is that is what that they could be hiding from you 
they could have some uh, debts to clear out they could have some financial imbalances in the past and they could be dealing with some kind of a financial loss currently moving forward they are uh, you know they are in that energy where they have to constantly give out money for something that they are you know bound to okay it could be a past divorce situation where they are uh, you know committed to paying alimony every month and that is what they are hiding or uh, they have some kind of a debt situation that they are dealing with and it's a cycle of payment that they are hiding from you uh are they hiding anything um knowingly are they hiding anything from you knowingly is there something that is fishy uh could be i see that they are hiding this financial issue knowingly because they feel that if they get to know about it you might back off okay yeah they have that fear that you might back off because uh, there is some kind of an imbalance in their finances okay that bothers them emotionally and the situation is absolutely bothering them emotionally which is why they are hiding it uh, i see that if you ask about the situation to them they would not agree or they would try to hide it more because they are not comfortable discussing it with you because they feel that if they are uh, if they if they you know talk it out to you about this uh, financial imbalance that they have uh you might walk away and they don't want to lose you so that's why i see that they are hiding uh this specific thing in their lives just for some not a uh, very few people i feel that this person is confused between two people all right so whoever you are uh, asking about in this connection this is a love uh, angle this is a love situation clearly pile number 3 i see that this person whom you are not trusting fully because you have that strong intuition that they are hiding something from you it could be about uh their doubts on between you and someone else okay so they are not able to make their minds whether they want to pursue you or they want to pursue the other person so they are confused between two people there is um an angle of a third person here so there is a confusion in their minds um and that is what they are hiding okay group number 3 they are hiding because uh at times they are thinking of sharing themselves with both of these energies okay they are sharing their time with both of these energies and at times they feel that they can balance both these people in their lives but sometimes they feel that they are morally incorrect okay they are morally not doing the right thing and that is bothering them within that is bothering their uh, subconscious their consciousness okay it is hitting their consciousness so all in all pile number 3 for sure whoever you are dating whoever you are uh, you know having a relationship with this is a new relationship okay this is not an old one this is definitely a very fresh i see the vibe of you just just met okay this is a fresh new stage So you've just met this person you've got to know each other and you feel some kind of an attraction but you also have this strong feeling something is off something is not right and you don't you can't just pinpoint on what it is so summarizing this reading for you group number 3 for some i see this could be a financial uh, debt situation that this person is hiding because they're not uh, clearly comfortable sharing what is their trouble or for the other of you for some of you for a very little uh, percentage of you i see that this is a confusion between two people that your person has okay this person is not able to make you make their mind uh, whether they want you or they want the other person so that is the situation all in on and let me see what is the advice for you what advice is coming forth for you group number 3 what should you do 
what is the advice for you group number three okay what is the advice for you group number three the advice for you is to uh, give it time learn about each other you know get to know more about this person and i see take a third person's opinion yeah give it time okay see how things go give it time do not take any harsh decisions i see that you need to go with the flow and also uh i see that november is a time that things will clear up them by itself okay by november i see there is a change where is it heading this change is heading about um something that is coming forward in this relationship something is uh, you know surfacing up so the truth could be surfacing up by the month of november till then keep it low key do not take any harsh decisions just go with the flow and if you can take a third person's um point of view okay so that is it for today's reading if you like this reading don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you're new to this channel and i will see you soon again in a new reading tomorrow till then take care bye bye